I have been, uh, and I will apologize to the uh, Univision and TLN uh, viewership right off the bat because they've probably seen me trying to learn salsa at Salsa on St. Clair uh, the last two years, and I haven't done it very well. I'm not sure that's going to improve over time, but I will tell you this. Um, we are deeply committed uh, to these kinds of events because they not only uh, give a sense of joy and life to people in the city who live here, they attract tourists, they're good for business, uh, they are just a, a very, very important part of having a healthy, vibrant, uh, livable city. And so those events will continue to be funded this year. If you go through the budget on a line-by-line -line basis, you will see that it's also on St. Clair and the Caribbean Carnival, and all of these things are funded again. Um, you will also see that we have increased our funding overall to the arts and culture. And that is because we made a commitment to do that, both because they're important industries that employ a lot of people, but also because they're a way in which Torontonians can tell each other their stories. There's the universal language of music, for example, that whether you're Hispanic, whether you're uh, Indian, whether you're Chinese, whether you're a ninth generation indigenous Canadian, um, you can enjoy and, and talk about and share in music, for example, and many other forms of the arts. So those uh, sources of funding will be maintained and increased this year uh, because of that importance that we place on this as part of a livable, healthy uh, city.